before our visit today, I'm thinking like those kind of look a little different. So I'm just curious, what are your thoughts about that? Like when we first started working together, you know, I was saying to you, I just feel like everything feels awful. Should we freeze frame? Let's freeze frame. I feel like we could do this forever. We um, could. <laughs> I'm, I'm stepping into the role of this patient in, in, in genuine fashion. Measurement-based care is a fluid process and not a fixed process. And when you talk about this with your clients, like you can say to them, I think with conviction that these measures don't run the session or the treatment, we do. Um, and so this gives us the opportunity to have that really shared understanding within the context of our relationship to move things forward in a way that we can both agree on and that feels empowering to us both. We genuinely believe that when following the full Collect Share Act model, that providers get more benefit of their work, that they feel empowered, they see progress, they know what's going on, and that it becomes a foundation for difficult and challenging conversations that might have been harder to have without the quantitative measure. The data helps clinicians stay proactive, aware of trends or any signs that a client may be off track. And something to keep in mind is that it is never intended to make clinical decisions for you. It's there to provide key data and insights to help inform your clinical judgment and be another uh, piece of uh, information you have to, to make your decisions based off of. Part of tracking progress is also noticing where there aren't improvements because sometimes people get stuck in treatment and some people will get worse before they get better. So although progress is the goal, uncovering lack of progress with measurement-based care leads to really productive conversations that help clinicians and clients together understand the clinical picture better. This parallels across MBC practice and implementation where we're never quite sure what road bumps you know may lay ahead or things that might come up and so we just want to release any expectations, any judgment, where we think the direction of that graph is going to go, how we think implementation is going to unfold when we get curious and really understand the data and the other contextual information ahead of us, that's where we can really generate solutions together.